What's up, Greg? Billion Surprise Toys. Ah, uh, Billion Surprise Toys, the creators of probably the worst children's videos on the internet. Like videos about refrigerators, singing, and um, this one that I just found that's about balloons. Balloon, balloon. Daddy gonna blow a balloon. Balloon, balloon. I want a hot chip balloon. Balloon, balloon. Red color balloon. So like a month or two ago, if you remember, Billion Surprise Toys became one of the biggest memes on the internet with the whole Johnny Johnny Yes Papa thing. Pretty much everybody was talking about it and like making fun of Billion Surprise Toys, making fun of all of their videos. Meanwhile, Billion Surprise Toys was frantically trying to take down any video that was making fun of them. For some reason, mine didn't. I don't know why, but it got so bad that they even started deleting some of their own videos. Like, for some reason they didn't delete my video, but they deleted their own refrigerator video. The one that I talked about in my video. So now pretty much the only place to see it is my video, which is kind of crazy. It seems to me that the reason they deleted all those videos, especially the ones of other people making fun of them, is because they want to be seen as like a serious kids channel, or they wanted to get bought by a bigger company like Disney or something like that, and they were worried that everybody making a meme out of them would hurt their chances, I guess. But it kind of worked. I mean, pretty much everybody has stopped talking about Johnny Johnny and his papa. So today I kind of just want to go through and take a look at their videos, their recent videos, and see if they've learned anything. Have they improved their content at all? Like what have they learned? What are they changing? What have they done to clear their name and take their spot as the best kids channel on YouTube that they so rightfully deserve. So if you saw my last video, you probably remember that a lot of their videos center around this family. You got Papa and Johnny, and there's a mom, and there is also a refrigerator who is a part of the family for some reason. So let's just check out one of their recent videos and check out how Papa, Mommy, and Johnny are doing. This one's a little lullaby video. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Johnny laying in bed with mommy right next to him. They're both about to fall asleep. Only thing that's missing is Papa. Yeah. Oh, and here he comes. Wait. <laughs> Wait, that's not Papa. Who is that? Did they get rid of Papa? Did they get a divorce or something? <laughs> <laughs> what? Who is this guy? Why is he picking Johnny up like it's his kid? You're not Papa. Where's Papa? Rock-a-bye, baby. <laughs> If the marriage wasn't going well, I mean, get a divorce, sure, but, like, the mom rebounded so fast with this guy. This younger, hotter, clean-shaven, ripped, hotter, hot guy. His name's probably Chad or something. He's probably, like, a rich, successful lawyer. You're not Papa. Look at those arms. He's jacked. That is really weird though. Why Why did they replace Papa? I feel like they're trying to uh, get rid of the stigma that they had from the whole Johnny Johnny Papa thing. So they replaced the Papa character to try to make you forget all about that or like make you think that this isn't the same channel or something. But why did they only replace Papa? Like Johnny's still the same kid and so is the mom. I guess they got rid of the refrigerator too, but honestly that's probably for the best. I support that. That refrigerator was scary and bad. I can't believe they could do Papa so dirty like that. They did him so dirty. Absolutely dirty. All right, let's just, let's, let's just watch a different video. Vegetable song. What, they're gonna sing about vegetables. Okay, this is much closer to what I'm used to. There's all these kids, there's the mommy, they're all singing and dancing, there's no real rhyme scheme or rhythm. This is what I've come to expect from Billion Surprise Toys. So I guess the plot so far is that all the kids are playing with their toys, mommy comes in and called them for eating broccoli. I assume that means she wants them to come eat their broccoli. But the kids don't want to eat their broccoli, so the mother does what any rational mother would do, and she calls the doctor? Is that something that doctors help with? Like, what would they even do? Hey, is this the doctor? Yeah, can you come over? My kids aren't eating their broccoli. So you guys aren't eating your broccoli, huh? Open wide! <laughs> anyway, uh, I guess let's just see what he does. Mommy, call the doctor and the doctor said Eating broccoli is <laughs> a good bone health. Oh no. 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 He's the doctor now? He's been demoted to some random character? This doctor? And he's only allowed to see his son now when he's sick? Or won't eat his broccoli? This is so awkward. Why didn't they find a new doctor? He 
Okay, now they won't eat their carrots and she's calling the doctor again. Now it's starting to make sense. Now it's clear why the mom is calling the doctor for these weird minor inconveniences. She misses her ex-husband. I knew she shouldn't have broken up with him. For Chad. Remember when he and Johnny used to dance together? He was a good guy. Not like this dude. Chad. Step Papa. That's all you'll ever be. Step Papa. Okay, you know what? Actually, I don't know Step Papa. Let's, let's give him the benefit of the doubt and see if he's like really a good guy. Maybe he's better for mommy. Let's watch another song and see what else has changed. Maybe they've fixed something else. Like, I don't know, learned English. Okay, this one's called Indoor Playground Song. Come kids, let's have a lot of fun. Come kids, let's have a lot of fun. Hey mom, I found a slide here. Hey mom, I found a slide here. Come Johnny, just slide and come. Come Johnny, just slide and come. Okay, I mean, it looks like they're having fun. Look at them, they're all playing in the ball pit. At least it seems like Step Pop is jumping right into the position of being a dad, and he's really caring for Johnny uh, and Mommy. They're sliding and coming, they're having a great time. They still don't know English, though. Come dad and mom, let's do get the slide. Come dad and mom, let's do get the slide. <laughs> Come dad and mom, let's together slide. They did this in the last video, remember? Together bath? Let's together bath. Hey mom, I found a bouncer here. Hey mom, I found a bouncer here. Hey dolly, you just bounce and have fun. Hey dolly, you just bounce and have fun. That line's funny because it she says it like she's trying to be nice, but the lyrics are like, hey, just bounce and have fun. Like, I don't, I don't care. Yeah, you found a trampoline. Just bounce and have fun. You don't have to tell me every time you found a bounce here. So, so far, it seems like Billy and Surprise Toys hasn't really learned anything. They haven't, like, improved their production quality at all, from what I can tell. They definitely haven't improved their writing at all. And their animations still look very creepy at times. The only thing they've changed is just getting rid of Papa. Here's a video called Humpty Dumpty Nursery Rhyme for Kids. So, I assume this is just gonna be Humpty Dumpty, which is a classic nursery rhyme that everybody knows. So they're probably not writing their own lyrics, it's probably just gonna be Humpty Dumpty. So this should be pretty hard to mess up, right? It's a very straightforward premise. Little Eggman sits on a wall, he falls, and he breaks. <laughs> so... It starts off with Johnny and his family going to visit this castle, and right out front when they're entering the castle, they see this statue of an Eggman. It's probably a statue of the giant Eggman who used to rule the castle. And with Johnny's touch, he springs to life and runs off to play with the little babies. All he needed was a child's touch to feel alive, which sounds creepy, but also is creepy. <laughs> Okay, so this is pretty much just the nursery rhyme at this point, right? Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall, he fell, he gets decapitated, his head falls off, so he's probably dead. One thing I noticed is that the sound effects have not gotten any better in these newer videos. I don't know why, but that the way the girl says, Oh no! Just really rubs me the wrong way. Oh no! That's one thing that I've never liked about these videos, is the weird sound effects. Is that how you would respond if, like, your friend fell off of a bridge and broke his neck? You would just turn around and go, Oh no! It's really ruined my whole day! My friend breaking his neck- Oh no! Luckily, little Eggman's horses and men come to his aid, but they're also little babies. So they can't help. Why would they be able to help? They're babies. Also, not sure why this little Eggman's so into babies. Like, he's playing with little babies. All of his employees, I guess, are babies. I don't know what's going on in this castle, but I don't like it. So the Eggman's men can't figure it out, but luckily Johnny and his sister are little geniuses, and they figure, well, if we just tie the bow tie around the wound, it will hold his head in place. And somehow that works. He went from decapitated to dancing around like a spry little egg in seconds. This just happens over and over again and again, Humpty Dumpty finds himself in situations where he's falling, this mouse scares him, and he falls. That's pretty fucked up. To scare an egg? You know how fragile eggs are? This dude breaks every five seconds, and you're gonna scare him while you're in a treehouse? <laughs> to be fair, it does seem like he immediately regrets it, though, because he screams, no! That mouse seems legitimately traumatized by what she's done. Dude, if I was Humpty Dumpty, I would be pissed in this situation. I'd be like, I was a perfectly frozen statue. Nothing could hurt me. 
I was basically in a coma. But then you kids had to come and touch me. And now I can't go two seconds without falling off a wall and shattering into pieces. Do you have any idea how hard it is to be an egg? No, you've never been an egg in your life. Next time I shatter, can you just let me die? Don't get the horses and the men. Don't get the rabbit or the mouse. Just let me die, please. He falls again. Th this time the parents set him up on the wall and he falls. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I think they might have improved on the sound effects a little bit. They're growing on me. I think I like them. <laughs> you can just feel like genuine horror in their voices. Um, you know what? What is Humpty Dumpty even supposed to be about? That's the whole nursery rhyme, right? Is there is there like another verse that helps explain what's going on or something? Nope. It's just that. That's the whole thing. You know what? Actually, this nursery rhyme is kind of perfect for Billion Surprise Toys. I think they should stick to weird nursery rhymes like this. It's super weird. It doesn't really make any sense. There's not any moral from what I can tell. Like, what would the moral be? Don't be an egg? Or if you are a little egg man, just don't sit on walls. Well, to be honest, guys, I feel like I just can't really get behind Billion Surprise Toys anymore. They haven't really learned from their mistakes. They're still making the same just without Papa. I mean, he was such a popular character in meme culture. I feel like it's a huge wasted opportunity for them to not be using him still. They did him dirty. They did him extremely dirty. I feel like Papa at least needs some sort of send off, like a goodbye song. And luckily with iPhones, now you can make little animated characters. They're called like memojis or something. And you can customize exactly what they look like. So I made Papa a little farewell song. I think it's only fair that he gets a nice little send-off and Billion Surprise Toys obviously isn't gonna do it. So here you go, Papa. This one's for you. Johnny, Johnny. I thought you were my real ride or die. You told me you'd always be by my side We had kids and a fridge with the sauces inside We had the sauces But it turns out that you were telling lies, telling lies. All I ever wanted is to be a, dad. be a dad But you took that away and gave it right to Chad He's so ripped and so hot, how can I compete with that? I'm Humpty Dumpty cause you shattered me Now let's together sad Johnny Johnny, do you miss me? Yes Papa Johnny Johnny, have you moved on yet? No Papa Promise me you won't forget me Forget me if you if you ever wanna see me, just don't eat your broccoli, yo Johnny, Johnny, do you miss me? Yes, Papa Johnny, Johnny, have you moved on yet? No, Papa Promise me you won't forget me Forget me If you ever wanna see me, just don't eat your broccoli, yo Alright guys, this video was sponsored by ExpressVPN Even though you might not realize it, pretty much everything that you do on the internet can be tracked by your internet service provider, your cell company, ad companies, and hackers. That's right. The game master could get a hold of your precious information. That's why I and many other YouTubers you've probably seen recently would suggest that you start using a VPN. VPN basically stands for virtual private network and when you have one installed it basically makes your computer anonymous. It helps with things like website tracking so if you're using a website when you're using a VPN your real IP address is masked and it looks like you have some other IP address so websites can't track you. VPNs encrypt your data which is great if you do a lot of data in like public areas with public Wi-Fi. People can't get access to your stuff because it's all encrypted. Not to mention you can unblock content that might not be available in your country. So let's say you're in like Germany and you can't access some content that would be available in America. If you make your computer look like it's in America, then you can access that content. ExpressVPN is the best VPN out there. It's got the fastest speeds. It's got server locations in 94 countries. It's got 24 seven customer service, so you get support whenever you need it. It's super easy to install and even easier to use. You can connect with just one click and it's really cheap. It's less than $7 a month with a 30 day money back guarantee. Personally, I have used VPNs for a long time and I'm using ExpressVPN right now. I like to do a lot of work at coffee shops and I've heard in places like that, it's a lot easier for hackers to gain access to your computer because it's a public Wi-Fi so you can take back your internet privacy today and find out how you can get three months of ExpressVPN for free by clicking the link in the description box. That's expressvpn.com slash Danny Gonzalez. Expressvpn.com slash Danny Gonzalez. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new here and you haven't joined Greg yet, Greg is my fan base on YouTube, but it's more than just a fan base. It's a family. It's an army. It's a it's uh, it's an army. If you want to join Greg, we're the fastest growing army on the internet. Don't look that up. All you have to do is subscribe and turn on my notifications. Thank you, James, for turning on my notifications. You are truly Greg. I'll see you guys next time with a really interesting video where that guy hosts the entire show. Bye!